Welcome to the Daily English News program in Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm Gilad Hadamova. President Ilham Aliyev chaired a meeting regarding the holding of the 29th Conference of the Parties to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change COP29 in the country next year. Noting that a few days ago our country achieved another great success, the COP29 International Conference will be held in Baku, Azerbaijan. The other state added that this decision was made by all countries of the world a few days ago. Thus, great confidence and great respect have once again been shown for Azerbaijan, underlining that as a result of this policy we have secured very strong positions on the global scale. Respect for Azerbaijan in the international arena is growing day by day, and we have earned this respect with our actions, work and policies. President Ilham Aliyev noted that our independent policy, our principal position, our compliance with and commitment to international law, and at the same time the restoration of sovereignty on the territory of our country, have further boosted respect for us. The importance of this event, among other things, also consists in the fact that this decision was made two and a half months after the anti-terror operation. Thus, the entire world community has once again expressed support for Azerbaijan. I should also note that the decision to hold the COP29 conference in Baku has been made with the consent of every member of the international community. The unanimous position has been demonstrated here again. True, certain Western countries made baseless allegations against Azerbaijan after the anti-terror operation. These accusations against us have no basis whatsoever, because Azerbaijan has once again secured the supremacy of international law by conducting the anti-terror operation against separatists and occupiers in our sovereign territory. At the same time, we have restored our sovereignty by observing all humanitarian norms. Certain Western countries, traditionally including France, of course, are not going to put up with that. However, the international community already sees that even Armenia has come to terms with the situation, and the decision to hold the COP29 conference in Azerbaijan is further evidence of that, emphasized President Ilham Aliyev. Saying that some political leaders of France are trying to be more Armenian than the Armenians themselves, however, they will also have to come to terms with the situation. The other state added that the concept of international community and international unity is sometimes distorted in the West. The international community is not about 30, 40 countries. The international community includes all countries of the world, and these countries have unanimously shown their great support for Azerbaijan. This is not the first time this has happened. We have been successfully chairing the Non-Aligned Movement for four years, and here too our chairmanship has been possible with the support of 120 countries. In fact, our chairmanship has been extended by one year. This was a great indicator in itself. A total of 120 countries of the world have expressed their support for Azerbaijan. This time all countries of the world have shown this support. I believe that COP29 is one of the most prestigious international events in the world. From the point of view of the number of countries represented, it is no inferior to the UN General Assembly. Therefore, we should immediately start all preparatory work. We don't have too much time, less than 11 months. Therefore, I thought that I should chair the first meeting and give all the necessary instructions. I will be regularly updated on the progress in the implementation of these instructions. I have no doubt that we will hold the COP29 International Conference at a high level and that it will be yet another great success for our country and people. At the same time, Azerbaijan will assert itself in this field as an oil and gas country, and everyone in the world will see again that our agenda is related to green energy. The creation of green energy and the transportation of green energy to world markets are currently the priorities of our energy policy. This is the reality, and the whole world will see it again, said President Ilham Aliyev. President Ilham Aliyev received Minister of Investment of the United Arab Emirates, Mohammed Hassan al Saweedi. The head of state extended congratulations on the successful holding of the 28th session of the Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change in Dubai. Mohammed Hassan al Sawidi delivered greetings from President of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan, to the Azerbaijani leader. Expressing gratitude for the greetings, President Ilham Aliyev requested to pass on his own greetings to the President of the United Arab Emirates. Reflecting on his recent visit to the United Arab Emirates, the head of state were I firmly recall the meeting with President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan during the visit. They highlighted the successful development of bilateral friendly relations between Azerbaijan and the United Arab Emirates across diverse sectors, noting that the contacts at different levels contributed to the strengthening of cooperation. The decision to hold the 29th session of the Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, COP29, in Azerbaijan next year, was described as a significant mark of the international 
international community's profound trust and respect for Azerbaijan. During the conversation, the importance of the documents to be signed today was underscored, signaling a robust indicator of successful development in economic cooperation and bilateral relations at large. Following the discussions, the ceremony was held for the signing of the documents. A joint investment framework agreement was inked between the Azerbaijan Investment Holding and the Abu Dhabi Development Holding Company. The agreement was signed by Minister of Economy of Azerbaijan, Mikhail Jabbarov, and Minister of Investment of United Arab Emirates, Mohammed Hassan al Saweedi. A memorandum of understanding on investment cooperation in data center projects was sealed between the Ministry of Digital Development and Transport of the Republic of Azerbaijan and the Ministry of Investments of the United Arab Emirates. The memorandum was signed by Minister of Digital Development and Transport of Azerbaijan, Rashad Nabiyev, and Minister of Investment of the United Arab Emirates, Mohammed Hassan al Sweetie. President Ilham Aliyev signed an executive order to overhaul the highways in Nediman of district of Baku city. According to the executive order, 600,000 manats is earmarked to Azerbaijan of the Mobilio State Agency for this purpose. The Union Azerbaijan Party has nominated its chairman Ilham Aliyev as a candidate for the upcoming presidential elections scheduled for February 7, 2024. The party board made this decision at an extended meeting. At an extended meeting of the Yeni Azerbaijan Party Board, the candidacy of the party chairman Ilham Aliyev was nominated for the upcoming early presidential elections on 7 February 2024. The party charter, adopted at the 7th Congress, grants the board the authority to nominate a presidential candidate. The board members unanimously supported the candidacy of the party chairman, Ilham Aliyev, for the elections. <laughs> It was noted that Azerbaijan has achieved significant success over the past 20 years and is currently the most powerful state in the region. Under the leadership of President Ilham Aliyev, our country has achieved invaluable historical success, including the full restoration of its territorial integrity and sovereignty. At the meeting, Deputy Chairs Tahir Budagov and Ali Ahmadov were appointed plenipotentiaries of candidate Ilham Aliyev in the early presidential elections. An election headquarters of 21 party members was set up and an action plan was adopted. You can get in touch with us by contacting the AZTV hotline number 051-511-1956, through which you can report events you encounter as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.